Imagine for a moment that every single human being vanished from Earth in an instant. No warning, no explanation, no time to prepare. Just silence. A planet filled with cities, machines, monuments, and memories, but not a single soul left to see them. At first glance, you might think that everything would simply freeze, like a paused movie, with buildings standing tall forever, and our legacy carved into the planet's surface for eternity. But the truth is far stranger and far darker. Earth would not mourn us. It would erase us. And the only question is, how long would it take until every trace of humanity disappeared forever? In the first few hours, lights would begin to flicker. Without people to operate power stations, many grids would shut down quickly. Nuclear plants have automatic systems, but without maintenance, safety measures would eventually fail. Within days, most of our cities would be shrouded in darkness. The glowing skyline of New York, Tokyo, or Dubai fading into black. Within weeks, water treatment plants would fail, leaving rivers and pipes to flood or run dry. Our proud systems, so carefully maintained, would collapse with shocking speed, because the truth is simple. Humanity's world is not built to last without us. But what about our physical legacy? The skyscrapers, the bridges, the monuments. Within months, nature would begin its invasion. Without constant mowing, grass would rise, weeds would crack through pavement, and roots would crawl over abandoned roads. Rats and insects would flourish at first, feeding on the endless supplies of leftover food in supermarkets and kitchens. But as that food rotted away, populations would crash and ecosystems would begin to rebalance. Domesticated animals would face a harsher fate. Dogs, without humans to feed them, would scatter and form wild packs, while farm animals would mostly die off. The Earth would not wait politely for us to return. It would begin to reclaim its territory almost immediately. Now, let's fast forward. 100 years after humanity's disappearance, entire cities would crumble. Skyscrapers made of steel and glass might seem eternal, but without maintenance, they would rot from within. Metal would rust, glass would shatter, concrete would crack and collapse. Roads would be overrun by forests, highways turned into rivers of green. Birds would nest inside office towers, and wolves would hunt through suburbs. Our once indestructible monuments of civilization would look more like haunted ruins. Think of the Colosseum in Rome, but multiplied across every city on Earth. But what about our most resilient creations? Surely some things would survive longer? Yes, but even those would eventually fall. In 500 years, most buildings would be gone, collapsed into rubble and dust. In 1,000 years, entire skylines would be buried under jungles, deserts, or oceans. Our dams would burst, flooding valleys. Our tallest towers would lie shattered across the ground. The earth would not only erase the surface, it would recycle it. Rocks, soil, wind, and water would grind down every trace. Yet, some objects would cling to existence. The pyramids of Egypt, for example, might still stand after thousands of years because they've already survived that long without us. The Great Wall of China, though weathered, might linger as broken ridges across mountains. Even so, erosion would eventually reduce them to dust. If you returned after 10,000 years, you might find a few recognizable shapes, but the vast majority of human structures would be gone. And then there are our satellites and probes. Above Earth, thousands of dead satellites would continue orbiting, silently circling a planet without observers. But their fates would also be sealed. Some would burn up in the atmosphere after decades or centuries. Others would drift endlessly, becoming space junk, faint echoes of a civilization long erased. Beyond them, a handful of probes, like Voyager, would carry humanity's fingerprints across interstellar space. But on Earth itself, our story would fade away. In one million years, Earth would be almost unrecognizable. Continents would have shifted slightly. Mountains would have risen and crumbled. Glaciers would have advanced and retreated. If an alien species landed then, they might not even know humans had existed. Our cities would be dust, our monuments gone, our technology scattered atoms in the soil. The only faint clues might be underground. Radioactive isotopes from nuclear weapons, unusual layers of plastic particles, 
and perhaps fossils of modern animals shaped by our existence. But even these would be subtle, and over millions of years, even they would fade. And yet, some things might outlast everything. Plastics buried deep underground could remain for tens of millions of years. Radioactive waste might glow faintly for hundreds of thousands of years before decaying. Even Mount Rushmore might endure, its stone faces eroded but still vaguely visible after millions of years, though one day they too would collapse. Earth erases not with violence, but with patience. Time is its greatest weapon, and time always wins. But here's the strangest twist. Earth would thrive without us. Forests would regrow across continents. Animal populations would explode into abandoned cities. Coral reefs might recover without pollution, and endangered species might spread once more. In a few centuries, the planet might look healthier than it has since before industrialization. The end of humanity would not be the end of Earth. It would be Earth's rebirth. So how long would it take for every trace of us to disappear? The answer is both terrifying and humbling. Within decades, our world would collapse into darkness and ruin. Within centuries, nature would consume our monuments. Within thousands of years, only the most resilient relics would remain. And within millions of years, Earth would erase us completely, leaving no sign that we ever existed. For all our pride, all our technology, all our belief in permanence, we are temporary. Our legacy is not carved in stone. It is written in sand, waiting for the tide to wash it away. And maybe that's the most haunting truth of all. If all humans died today, the last light of civilization would flicker out not with an explosion, but with a whisper as Earth quietly, patiently, and mercilessly erased every trace of us.